Good morning, good morning, good morning. Danny Moon here, y'all. Call me what you want, as long as it's respectful. Let me get my candle. This is going out to the Tauruses. All right. Mm, Tauruses, in my meditation, I did feel, I did feel good vibes. I'm not going to lie. I did, I did feel good vibes. Don't get me wrong. I didn't see a wind fifth, a, a windfall of money or anything. I look crazy this morning, y'all, so I'm staying off camera for a little while. Um, I didn't see a windfall of money or super duper happiness, but I felt a, right now they're giving me clarity. So some of you have clarity on a situation, which is great. So if we get the Ace of Swords um, or a lot of swords card that is coming into clarity or some type of conversation or the truth will be coming to you about something. Um, but overall, overall, I didn't get bad energy. So I'm really hoping that your cards match this energy that I'm getting. So remember all of the cards or anything that I channel is not going to resonate with every single Taurus. It just won't. I'm just one little tarot baby, okay? I go only take in so much, so. Um, but if it doesn't resonate with you, just give it back to the universe. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and come back to the next Taurus video. I've been doing these videos more and more frequently. Um, so just come back to the next one because the next one might be for you. Um... Uh, the next disclaimer is my email is moondanny1976 at gmail.com. That's M-O-O-N-D-A-N-N-I-1976 at gmail.com. It will be left in the description. Um, if you want to know about manifestation or tarot class, um, like one-on-one -on -one tarot class, I do those. Um, or if you want a reading, a full reading, a mini reading, I'm very affordable. So everything will be left in the description box. Thank you. Um, so the names that I got was Derek and Samuel. Um, and now anybody that starts with an R or maybe a T or L. These messages are for you. And as we go on, if Spirit gives me any other um, uh, names or letters, I will definitely throw them out to you. Um, so when I was meditating, I did quite a long meditation. Um, the first word I got was illumination. Illumination. You, know, you don't know, but Spirit talks to me in words, pictures, numbers, visions, and feeling. Um, you know, through energy, smells, sounds, things like that. So whatever I get, I will give it to you. Um, and I don't know why I'm getting banging on the door and like a neighbor. Someone's banging on the door, banging on the wall, some type of banging you might hear. Um, the next thing I wrote down was starting to see. And that could go with the clarity. That could go with the clarity. Maybe you're you're starting to see the truth. You're starting to come into clarity. You're starting to see what things are, what it is, what it is, what it isn't. Um, and you know, I try to get messages. I ask spirit, what is the energy of the Tauruses? Give me it all. So now it's starting to feel like this is going into a relation a relationship um reading, but I try not to just focus on one thing. I try to focus on what's going on in your soul, what's going on, your present, um, even your past, if they want to dive into that, um, and what's kind of coming towards you. So I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. The next thing I wrote down was your crown chakra is open. Your crown chakra is open at this time, and it's probably because... Tauruses, I didn't realize until lately that y'all are very connected to like moon energy, to your spirit guides, 
Um, just to this whole metaphysical life. Taurus says you are very connected and I did not know that. Um, so your crown chakra is open. This is the time for y'all to be meditating and to talk it, talking to your deceased loved ones, your grandmother, your grandparents, um, cousins, uncles, anyone who's trying to come through. You need to try to be um, picking up some messages and decoding them. Watch out for your dreams too. Um, write your dreams down. Try to decode them because spirit is trying to talk to you. Um, uh, the next thing I wrote down was change of plan. Something's changing um, in your daily life. Like you would decided to go somewhere, then you change that up. You decided to have a conversation, you change that up. A date, you change. plans have changed. The next thing was um, bees in the trap. Bees in the trap. Mm, 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 mm. Bees in the trap. I don't know that song, but I know, um, you know, Nikki sings that song. That was a song that came to me. So maybe you've seen that. Maybe you're a Nicki Minaj fan. I'm not really sure. Um, the next thing was adventure slash travel. So some of you want to travel or are making travel plans. Um, Spirit just says to be safe. Make sure you're safe. Um... I am also getting contemplation now. Do not sit around contemplating on big decisions in your life, Tauruses. These, this is the time to, especially because your crown chakra is open. Your intuition is probably on fire too. Spirit is trying to guide you. So um, please, 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 don't, don't, no contemplation. Take action. The next thing I wrote down was taking on new challenges. There's challenges coming your way, probably obstacles, because this is life. We are human. Um, um, but you're taking them on like Tauruses do. You're kicking down the door. Y'all are bulls. Y'all are just handling your situations. The only thing I say, or Spirit says, is to meditate first, think first, think twice before you go into anything. Not every door needs to be banged down, knocked down, dragged down, fight. You don't have to be um, so like deep because Tauruses sometimes y'all could be um, y'all could be like deep, mentally deep. You know, um, some things are just surface, and sometimes you got to look at it like like what it is. You know, um, maybe some of you are with Aquariuses or dealing with Aquariuses because Aquarius is coming coming to mind. The next thing I wrote down was money is growing slowly. So I don't really care how slow it grows as long as it's growing. To me, I'm seeing the four of pentacles. That means you're saving. Four of pentacles is about saving money. Or you could be holding on to something, holding on to a dream, holding on to a person, place, a thing that is not serving you. You have to be the... the you have to be the high priestess and make that decision on that. You have to use your intuition, okay? Um, Taurus is there's something you know. There's secrets you know. There's something hidden. There's either something hidden that you don't know. But I'm not getting that energy. I'm getting the energy is that even if you don't know it, your intuition is talking to you. It's like you know something. Okay, write everything down, take notes like she's doing, you know what I mean? Stay quiet. You know, a high priestess, she knows everybody's secrets. She knows everything about everything, but she don't spill nothing, okay? Um, the next thing I wrote down was intense talks with yourself. It's like you're going back and forth talking with yourself. And you know, we all have a higher self. We, we forget to praise them. And to light a candle for them and to thank them and to give gratitude to your higher self. You know what I'm saying? It's all God within you. Your creator is, in, is within you. You know, these intense talks, you need to like decode them. Just like I, look, Ace of Swords, I told you. Um, decode them. Just like I said to decode your dreams. Have these intense talks, but come out with some answers. But the only way you're going to do that is is by really like, I'm going to be honest with you, meditating. If you are not into meditation, hit me up. I could start you off, um, you know, slowly. I could start you off slowly. But you can meditate to any song, any washing dishes. You can meditate. It's just about quieting your mind. You know, they're saying, telling me something about at night. Just quiet your mind at night. 
Anything else, spirit? Connection. They're telling me like contact, connection. Either someone's trying to get in contact with you. Eight of Wands, you know, you'll be getting a message soon. Or this is the universe. This is your spirit, guys. This is your creator. This is your deceased loved ones. Again, they're talking about these people are trying to contact you, to send you messages. And it's only to guide you and to, to so you can feel support within your daily life. So I think you should move on that. Like really take advantage of all this moon energy. I'm not really sure when the next moon is or a new moon. I'm not an astrologer, but something's happening. Some type of portal is happening August 8th. And I feel Tauruses, you might be affected by that. So, and I don't mean affected in a bad way. I think it might enhance your gifts. It might open up your um, your eye, your third eye. You know what I'm saying? So take advantage of it. Find out about this August 8th portal. I could be wrong about the dates too. YouTube University, y'all. Go on YouTube. Just put in, when is the next portal? Um, somebody's going to the bank or somebody's having bank issues. And the next thing I wrote down was ramen noodles. Somebody eats ramen noodles like day, night, or you feed your kids ramen noodles day and night. Spirit wants you to cleanse out your body. Ramen noodles is cool sometimes, but not all the time. Okay. Um, then I did get something else, but I didn't write it down because it was very relationshipy. It was very about like. And I don't even remember because energy is fluid. It comes in and it goes out. But it was something about you being disturbed with your partner. It was something about being disturbed with your partner. Something about a conversation. Spirit, Taurus energy, please. Keep perseverance. Nine of Wands. This is what y'all are doing. Y'all are keep pushing. You could be having headaches too. Migraines, some type of headaches. Check your blood sugar, your blood pressure. Hmm. These messages are coming in, Tauruses. I ain't even start the reading yet. What else, Spirit? Anything else? I feel like some of you need to go to your local metaphysical shop. If you're not into metaphysical, it's where they sell candles and crystals and oils and cards and books they tell you all about this your spiritual your spiritual story it tells you all about your spiritual helps you with your spiritual path some of you need to go there because you will be drawn to a lot of different things uh, something about an oil you could be getting an oil or need to create your own oil what is an oil that you need? Thank you, Spirit. I see it. Look at that. Again, Taurus's Spirit is in the building trying to con connect with you. Spirit is in the building. I love this. I should have had my door open because you will be seeing signs and sy um, synchronicities. Numbers 1111-555-333-444. This is them trying to talk to you, trying to either warn you or caution you or tell you to start thinking about your dreams and your path and trying to tell you to now it's time for you to take action Tauruses. I love it. But remember the high priestess is also about um, being quiet, holding people's secrets, knowing a lot of secrets, knowing things like this reading is feeling really magical. Um, spirit is saying like, you know, things, you just internally know things, your intuition is on fire, but now you need to use it to, to forward your life. What's going on, Taurus is, um, and here's a sidebar. If some of you need to move, I don't think you should be waiting on anybody. I don't think you should be waiting on anybody. I think you should... Make that move if you need to move, whether it's a job, a place, um, some type of making moves. All right, spirit, Taurus energy, please. What do you want? What do you want them to know? I see it. Thank you. Five of Swords. I'm not liking this. Five of Swords is about um, 
winning at all costs. Five of Swords is about doing things on your own and acting like you don't need help. T not taking advice from others. You know what I mean? Conflict. This could be conflict within yourself. I hope we don't get the Five of Wands because then that'll just confirm it. Hermit, you're in your mind. You're in your mind about something. You're going within. Introspection. I love that. I just tell people with the hermit card, don't stay there. Go. People naturally go into hermit mode when things are going on in your life. But when you go into introspection within you, you trying to find out answers, come out with some answers. But in order to do that, you have to sit still. You got to turn your phone off. You have to meditate. Spirit, Taurus, energy, please. Spiders might be a thing with y'all. Because I'm looking at it like a dead spider on my wall. It's small, but still. Spiders, they, they have a spiritual meaning to them. Queen of Pentacles, queen or king, it doesn't matter. Um, she's very stable. She's very stable. And look at the bottom of the deck is the, is the nine of cups. Maybe you're wishing for stability. Maybe you're, you're, you're just getting through check the check, paying your bills, but you're wishing for more. You're wishing for stability. The Queen of Pentacles, she has abundance around her. She's stable, not just with her money, but like within her mind and and her, her people, her, her family, her friends, everything is stable in her life. You know what I mean? But whenever I see any Queen of Pentacles in any deck, they don't look happy. She doesn't look too thrilled holding that big pinnacle. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like it has to do with more than just work. Maybe you're not happy with work. You know, maybe you want more money, but the queen of pinnacles, you need to embody this stableness. You know, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be about money. You have to be stable within yourself, within your mind, like where you are in life. You know what I mean? And Taurus says, I feel like it's time for you to make some moves. Seven of Wands, standing your ground. You know, maybe you have to stand your ground at work. Maybe you have to tell your bosses, tell your supervisor, tell somebody like, listen, this is what I want to do. This is what I need. If I don't get what I need, I'm out. You know what I mean? Maybe it's about standing your ground in your relationships. You know what I mean? Saying, you know, this is what I need. This is what I want. If not, I'm out. You know what I mean? Um, but you see how she's fighting off people? She's the winner because she, he or she, no gender in tarot, she's on top. So she, she, she's fighting these people off, which is good. You know, but how, Taurus... How long are you going to be battling either with yourself or with people at work or people around you? You got to ask yourself that. You know, when, when, when we took out the Queen of Pentacles, when Spirit took that card out, stability means we ain't arguing and fighting with nobody. You know what I mean? So you have to get to a place of stability within your mind. I, I feel like I see it, Spirit. It's right here. I got it. Thank you. Four of Wands. This is the 11-11 card. Like I said earlier, a lot of you are seeing synchronicities. Four of Wands is about, like, again, moving. Some of you could be moving, um, deciding, like, or wanting to move. I love this card. This is a very good energetic card. This is also about a new threshold. Some of you are crossing over a new threshold with somebody. That could be in a relationship or at a job. Or it could be you crossing a threshold by yourself. But I love the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is about happiness. It's about friends, family. And I feel that they're, they're focusing on this city in the back. I really do feel like people are moving. You could be doing remodeling to your house or something like that. Look at that. Five of Wands. I said conflict within yourself. Taurus says, I feel... And look, it just fell out the deck. I got to take it. I, spirit wants... This is conflict either with people or at work or with yourself. 
Taurus is. You decide. Fit it to your story. If it doesn't fit, throw it away. But this is conflict. I feel like this is within yourself. Going back and forth. Wanting more. Taurus, that's another energy I'm getting right now. I'm getting like you want more. You're wanting more. Again, four of pentacles. I told you about that earlier. Saving money, holding on to something that you shouldn't be holding on to. Ace of Swords again. I told you about that. I can't make this up, y'all. I cannot make this stuff up. Spirit is definitely here. I feel like what, uh, and again, I just shoveled, I, I just shoveled, I just shuffled in the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I'm trying to feel the energies out because this is a very up and down reading to me. Um, Taurus, I do feel like you're in your minds or in your feelings about something. You're, you're just, I don't feel like you're telling anybody about it. I feel like it's, it's conflict with yourself. Y'all could be having conflict at work too. That's for just a group of you. But this starting out here with the high priestess, I feel like you have the answers to all of this. I just feel like you're not making any moves. Spirit Taurus energy, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Taurus energy, please. What else do you want them to know? Taurus energy, please. We're going to clarify some of this. The Knight of Cups. This you could be dating or maybe someone admires you. Someone's coming in to help you with whatever's going on with you or how you're feeling. Um, but this is somebody coming in, trying to give their cup of love, trying to tell you how much they admire you, you know, or, 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 you know, trying to get your number or, or love on you in some type of way. Again, I'm getting, you know, I'm an intuitive reader. I, I take the energies off the card, but I don't know why I feel like this is you trying to love up on you. Or maybe that's something that you need to do. Maybe it's time for you to love up on you in some type of way. Spirit, Taurus energy, please. I see it. Thank you. Page of Cups. This is what I was feeling with the Knight of Cups. The Page of Cups is, you're looking in that cups. I call this my boy. I call both of these cards. Both of these cards are my boyfriend-girlfriend cards. So you could be dating. You could be wanting to date. Maybe you're feeling a little lonely. Um, but all I can say to that is you got to get yourself out there, Tauruses. You can't. You got to get yourself out there and see your options and opportunity, you know. Um, but I feel like. I don't know. I feel like this is you loving up on you, you know, wanting to see. Sorry, my phone just rang. I hope it didn't interrupt. I feel like this is wanting to see what's out there, your dreams and your goals. When she's looking in that fish, she's a dreamer. She or he's a dreamer. You want more in your life. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, this one's holding a cup too. I feel like you are, you think the cup is empty. You feel like there's nowhere to go. You feel like, how can I get to my dreams and goals? But now with the fish out of the cups, you know that you can you can make changes in your life, Tauruses. That you can. It's all up to you. And it starts with meditation. It starts with your crown chakra being open. Look at my Uber of the deck. You're leaving. Either you're leaving a mind frame, like um, a negative mind frame to a positive mind frame because you've been through so much. Um, you're missing people too. I'm getting the energy of you're missing people. Um, but this is also you're leaving, you're moving, moving of the deck, the Uber of the deck, or my water Uber. <laughs> I 
I see it. Thank you. Wheel of Fortune. I saw this on the bottom of the deck when I was shuffling. I was going to say something to you, but I said, mm, let's wait till it come out. And it came out. Wheel of Fortune. I feel like within this new this new time, it could be come September or the new year, you're going to make significant changes like moving, a new job, a new career. I think right now you might, some of you might even be looking like um, filling out applications or just looking to see what interests you, what you want to get into. But the Wheel of Fortune is about life is starting to turn in your favor. Things are starting to happen for you, Taurus. If it didn't happen now, it will be. It will be. Taurus energy, please. What else do you want them to know, spirit? Strength. You're going to have to have strength at this time. But spirit is talking about spiritual strength. You need to, you need to hold on to your faith. Okay, you need to have these conversations with yourself, but they don't need to be so intense. You need to have compassion for yourself. You know what I mean? Be easy. You need to listen for spirit. When you wake up in the morning, you need to try to sit still. I hate to call it meditation because some of you are not really into meditation. But the ones who are, you need to meditate stronger. If not one time a day, two times a day. Um, guided meditations, music meditation, whatever type of meditation you need to do it and need to get deeper into it. You need to listen for answers, guidance. Taurus energy. Again, nine of cups. Remember it was on the, on the um, bottom of the deck? Uh, nine of cups just be grateful she don't look too grateful y'all you have to stay in gratitude gratitude is different from being saying thank you thank you for waking me up gratitude is where you feel you're feeling the energy of thank you you're feeling the the gratitude the gratefulness of being alive you gotta walk with that feeling you have to feel it something might be over everything feels like it's you feel like you're dying in this relationship or this conflict or whatever. You feel like daggers is in you. But look at her. She on her phone. People always show you the card from here. But no, she on her phone. She fine. Everything is fine. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. Something yet you're wanting. You're wanting. You're wishing for it. But they're telling me um, manifestation. Why did I say it like a syllable? <laughs> like I broke it down. Manifestation. Um, manifesting. I feel like whatever this wish is, you are either manifesting or spirit wants you to manifest it. But people don't realize manifesting means you got to take action. You got to manifest the steps in order to get what you want. That's even a relationship. Spirit, can I get two more, please? Taurus energy, please. I am getting a lot of confusion, y'all. Some of y'all are just really confused about which way to go. This one. I'm going to take them both out, Spirit, because I don't know which one you're talking about. So I'll take them both out. Um, the Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands. I love this together. Because the Queen of Cups is about her intuition. She's the second magical person in the deck. They're telling me, and I said this earlier before the card came out, your intuition is on fire. You know things. This is why you got the High Priestess to start this reading off. And the Three of Wands is about not being confused no more. Taking that leap of faith. Deciding to go somewhere. Now you're just waiting to like, a, you're waiting. Maybe till September. You're waiting to for the perfect timing but all i say with this three of wands is your intuition is only going to get stronger don't wait too long it's like you're waiting for a phone call you're waiting for maybe somebody to get back to you with the application you're waiting for the right opportunity but you know two of wands is about not making a decision at all like going back and forth kind of like being stuck a little bit I like the three of wands because you decided to take action there. So spirit is saying now it's time to take action. And when I say now, now is the time to start maybe writing things down. 
because you want to make moves in September. You want to make moves at the beginning of the year. You know what I'm saying? But something's happening here. You, your intuition, this right here, these three cards, nine of cups, queen of cups, and the three of wands is telling me something you're manifesting. You're listening to your intuition and you're making a move on it. I love it. And it might have took a long time for you to get to this place. That's okay. The Knight of Pentacles moves real slow, but they always move. Even if they move real slow, they always move. And this could be about your job. And that's okay too. Maybe it's time for you to get a new job, a new career. Four of Cups. This is talking about not manifesting the right way, guys. Okay? This is about not being patient. Not seeing the things around you. Not being grateful for the things around you. Okay? Please, please, please. I feel good energy from, from this reading. Even with the five of wands, with the conflict in your mind, and with the five of um, swords, um, uh, winning at all costs or trying to do this on your own, I still feel good energy out of this reading. So please don't, don't be ungrateful. Be grateful. The more you're grateful, the more you will get. The more you're grateful, the more you can hear your intuition. This Queen of Cups. The more you're grateful, the more your wish fulfillment will come true. And I just want to say about this wish fulfillment. Um, I don't want y'all standing around hoping and wishing. Hoping and wishing won't get you nowhere. You have to manifest properly. Okay, there's somebody that I watch. Her name is Mel Robbins, and she talks all about manifestation and how to do it properly, how to manifest the steps in between. People just think I'm a wish for something and it's going to land on my lap. No, you got to take the journey. Spirit wants you to learn the journey, to get the lessons out of the journey, and that is where manifestation lies. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. I feel like someone needed to hear that. Boom, the lovers. Is this about a relationship? For some of you, I feel like this is about a relationship. This conflict, this five of wands, if you're having conflict with your partner or within yourself about your partner, then you have to really internalize it. You have to weigh your pros and cons. You have to communicate clearly. And when it comes to a relationship, I always tell people, you know, go to counseling, talk to a pastor, talk to each other, get a third party in, you know, always take accountability, you know, but once you exhausted all of that, then maybe it's time for you to bounce. Maybe it's time for you to, to do things on your own and not be codependent. Look, two of pentacles, bottom of the deck, that's a decision making, that's multitasking, that's doing too much where you don't have time to do for you, time for you to go within, time for you to be grateful, time for you to look at your dreams, time for you to hear, to hear what spirit is telling you, time for you to make decisions because you're doing too much. I see it. Thank you, Spirit. King of Cups. This is about the King of Cups knows how to love thyself. They they know all about self-love because they've been through so many shitty relationships that, you know, they know now it's all about self-loving them. They have their emotions under control. So, Taurus, is I'm asking you, is your emotions under control? One more spirit, one more Taurus energy, please. I see it, thank you. Justice, everything is going to turn out just fine. Everything is going to turn in your favor. The justice upright is all about, you know, legal matters, legal paper, child support, legal, 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 jail, all of that. You know what I mean? But when it comes upright, that means everything is going to be fair. But you might not like fair. Fair might be... In the half, 50-50, you might have to pay a fine. You might not do no jail time. You might get child support, but you might not get it, it, what you wanted. You know what I mean? And then if you're not in any legal action, this just means life for you. You're, this situation you're going through is going to be fair. It's going to turn out into it for your benefit. 
I love that. I love that. That's if you, and I didn't even tell you the lover's card is about a choice. Making a solid choice. If this is not about a relationship, you still have to make a, a choice. Do you stay? Do you leave? Um, what is this conflict in your mind about? What is this introspection about? You still have to come out with some answers. That's the lover's card to me. But everything's going to be fair. Everything's going to work out in your in your favor. And you know, spirit is trying to say like, y'all want some answers from these readings. The answers within y'all, Tauruses. The end, you already know, you got the high priestess. You already know what you need to do. I just think it's hard for you to make moves. It's hard for you to do it. But the but it's here. It Look at that. Look at that, the star card. God is trying to tell you, your God, your creator, whoever it may be, is trying to tell you your deceased loved ones, your angels, your ancestors. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought something fell. Um, your ancestors is watching over you. Okay, spirit is saying we are here. All you have to do is keep your balance. Okay, you need to shine your light and you need to pray all the time. I talk about all these other things, but I need to talk more about prayer. Prayer works, but you should start writing your writing down journaling. Okay? Ask for a sign. Spirit is here. Your creator is here. And everything is gonna go. It, everything is going to go the way it's supposed to go. I was going to say the way you want it to, but not everything always turns out the way you want it to. I do feel like new jobs is coming your way. New money is coming your way. I don't know what this is about, but when I felt this card, Nine of Pentacles is about independence, doing it on your own. But And Nine of Pentacles is about working hard. You got all these six pentacles. You did the actions. That's what Spirit is trying to say. You finally took action where you're supposed to take action, whether that's a relationship, breaking it off, or making a new relationship, dating, whatever this is, you took action. You put yourself out there, and the universe threw you these three pentacles just because, just off GP. I love that. But you got to take the first steps. What is the first steps? The first steps is meditation. That's the first step, hearing what the guidance is, coming out with some answers. The next steps when it comes to work, you want a new career, start applying, start looking. You know what I mean? Um, start looking, start small. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're at your job, start asking for a raise, start asking for a different position. See if you can move into a different department. Something that, you know, you, uh, Tauruses, I feel like you work hard. You work really hard. But I don't feel like you get the recognition and the reward that you deserve. You know what I mean? There's so much more out there for you, Tauruses. So much more out there. I know I keep saying one more. This is the last one. This is 38 on the clock. Last one, Spirit. Last one. This one. Patience, temperance card. This is a healing energy. Maybe some of you need to start to heal now after a bad something. Whatever, a bad breakup, a bad leaving of the job, or a loss of some kind. It's healing time. It's time for you to start healing. But you have to want to heal. You have to want to heal. Two of Cups. This is a great relationship with somebody investing in you. I love this. The, the Six of Pentacles is about the universe blessing you again. Second time, the universe is gifting you with something. Two of Cups could be something about leveling up on your job. Somebody sees how hard you're working, so they tell you about, oh, a, a supervisor position or a different company you could go to or something where they're making $2 more, $3 more. You know, that's what I'm feeling off this card. But it is about uh, having a good, happy relationship. And I think some of you want that. You know, you want that, but I tell you, you got you, you to gotta make moves. Nobody knows. You got to put yourself out there. For me to put that down, I know spirit is telling me to put that down. Like I said, the universe is blessing you. Or you giving your or you giving too much of your energy somewhere where you should not be giving, like you're not receiving. This is a give and take. Six of Pentacles is about give and take. Are you put giving too much of your energy somewhere where 
somewhere where you've been doing it too much, somewhere where you're giving too much of your energy and you're not receiving the same energy or respect back? Why do I feel that way? Why do I feel that way, Tauruses? It's almost like I'm mad for you. <laughs> it's all right, but because the universe is blessing you. The universe is about to bless y'all. I'm telling you, Tauruses, this is... A awesome, awesome reading. The universe is about to really come through for y'all. With whatever y'all be, but I need you to really focus on like good thoughts on whatever you manifest in. I need you to, to, to focus on it as if you have it already. Thank you, God, for this new position at work. Thank you, God, for this love of my life who just came into my life. Thank you for removing whoever wasn't good for me. Thank you for taking all this negative energy. You have to manifest it in that way. You have to journal. You have to write things down. You have to do candle magic. You need to light this candle and bring what you want to you. Law of Attraction. Law of assumption. Assume that you already have it. Because you're the, you are very creative too, Tauruses. In your own way. You are very creative. You will find a way to make things right for you. Your go-getters. You're going to go out and you're going to get like a, a like a, 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 whew, this energy is strong, Tauruses. Y'all are going to get clarity. The Ace of Swords. I showed it to you twice. You are going to get it clarity. You're going to get inspiration to do something, to have a conversation, to move forward. And you are going to be the go-getter. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, it don't matter. You are the go-getter of your life and you are about to take it by storm. I don't think you even know it yet. Whatever this next job is or this next development is, it's going to be so good for you. It's going to be so good for you. And money is coming in. I told you, eight of wands, uh, some type of message, some type of message. But I feel like this could be a message from the divine. Something's over. This old life is over. All right, spirit. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's move on. 42 on the clock. Let's get some mermaid messages. Spirit, what do you want them to know from the mermaid deck? Wow. All right. <laughs> wow. All right, Tauruses, what do you need to know? What is coming your way? Love, peace. That's what I want for y'all. Clarity, love, peace, and clarity. So that it can move you forward. But Spirit, what do you want them to know? Love, peace, and clarity. I saw it. I think it's this one. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? That, that high priestess, this is inner knowing. That high priestess and that three of wands, that's, a, that's saying like, I know what I got to do. I know something. That's that intuition. That's a higher calling. That is your spirit guides nudging you and pulling you and guiding you. That's an inner knowing. I love that. Temperance, I already showed you. You already had the temperance call. Where is that? Where is that? So you can see. So you can see. Boom. Two different decks. Patience. Patience. It's coming your way. I'm seeing more of September, October-ish. Or, or even the beginning of the new year, y'all. That's what I'm seeing for y'all. But it's coming, but you got to have patience, y'all. You got to manifest. You got to manifest the right way. Breaking free of all whatever you've been in, you are about to break free. You're breaking free now. You don't even realize it. Dreaming, dreaming. Remember, y'all had the... um.
this one you had the knight of the knight of cups and you had the page of cups she's dreaming her she's looking at her dreams her goals that's what that's what dreaming is about but now it's time that it's, you will be taking action on these dreams trust me you will be getting what you want what you deserve re-energize you need to take a break from that job you need to go on a trip vacation even if it's just for a weekend discernment you have to have discernment in your heart y'all you gotta know what is what you need to go into it with love free spirit free spirit maybe some of you are a free spirit recognition I think you want to be recognized for this hard work you're doing, but you will be. You're going to be rewarded. Recognition and reward. You will. You should be talking to people and asking for help when you need it, Tauruses. You're not alone. Ask your spirit guides. See, relaxation, relaxation. You need time off, okay? Something about your blood pressure. Watch it. Go. Did you have y'all been to contemplation? Remember I talked to y'all about contemplation? <clears throat> Don't stay there. You can always contemplate your avenues and where you want to go. But don't stay in that contemplation spot, um, place. Um... I told y'all, you need to go for a checkup. You need to go for a checkup. Doctor's appointments. Please keep your doctor's appointments. Magic. There's magic all around you, Tauruses. I felt that when I when I was doing your um, meditation and decisions. It's time for you to make clear decisions in your life. Whew, that was awesome. I know I said I was going to clarify some of them, but... I think you got the, the gist. I think you got the gist of what Spirit is trying to tell you. Spirit, can you give them something? What, what it, what, what's coming towards them? Love, peace, and happiness for Tauruses. What, what's coming towards them? Some of you need sex. Sex just came to me. Um, the, I'm sure Spirit... Some of you need sex. No one needs sex. You can you can do that on your own. <laughs> you know, and you could bless yourself. But sex just came to me. Maybe you had some awesome sex last night or something. Well-being. I told you, take care of your well-being. Go to all your doctor's appointments. Something's going on with blood pressure. Love up on your animals. Remember, your animals are there. Your animals are there to um, bring you healing energy, too. Korea, I told you, a lot of this has to do with Korea. For a lot of you, somebody wants and needs a new career, y'all. New career. Spirit, this is just a confirmation on Spirit is saying, go for it. You need it, you want it, it's there for you. Take action. Go over your resume. Talent. I told y'all, y'all are very, um... Not artistic. I said I didn't say talented. I said creative. What is your what is your maybe this new career will have something to do with your talent? Who knows? <clears throat> Spirit Taurus energy, please. Wow. Inspiration. I told you. Inspiration. Ace of Swords. You will be very, um, Ace of Swords or Ace of Wands. You will be very inspired, inspired, very inspired to take this next journey and to, to really like get on board with what you want to do with this new career, new relationship or on your own, whatever it is, taking the next step to further your life. Inspiration is coming your way, but you got to grab it by the horns. 
You do. And didn't I tell you about clarity? Truth. Truth is coming to you about something. Maybe it is about your job. Maybe you. Maybe it is, you know? Truth is coming to you. Some of you are grieving right now, grieving a loss, but um, transformation is taking place. You need to grieve and get it out your system. Blessings was at the bottom of the deck. I should have took it out. I'm sorry. Blessings is coming your way, Taurus. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know. Taurus energy, please. Reconciliation. Maybe some of you are reconciling. I love it. I love it. All right. Thank you, Tauruses. Um, I'm asking everybody, can you please donate to the channel? I don't care if it's 50 cent or a dollar, anything to the channel so that I can get more cards, um, more pendulums, more crystals so that I can put it into the channel, which is all for y'all, okay? I'm very dedicated to my craft. If you need a reading, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I got you. Um, just hit me up at Moon Danny 1976 at gmail.com. Give me 72 hours to get back to you because my life is crazy right now. Um, or leave it in the comments. Just say I need a reading. I got you. I'll hit you back. Love you. Danny Moon, I'm out.